Right. Uh, hello from the workshop again. It's been a while. I thought we'd do something different today. Uh, what we've got in today uh, is uh, some uh, motor gussy oil pressure gauges. Uh, not oil pressure gauges. Um, oil pressure relief gauges. Yeah. Got two of them in um, for servicing. Um, I've already serviced this one. They're meant to blow off at 60, between 57 and 60 psi. Um, so, using the service kit that the owner has supplied with me, I've refurbished this one. Uh, this one blows off at 60 psi, which is just fine. But this one <coughs> leaks like a proverbial sieve. Now, there's not a lot to these. Um, I'll just undo this one so that you can see. Okay, we've got the cover, um, which I suppose just prevents excess oil squirting onto things that they don't want you to squirt on. We've got uh, a cap with a washer. Then we have the main body with a, the spring, which is a uh, a tight fit on this little plunger so this little plunger goes in there it's held by the spring and there's some oil pressure built up there okay it just lifts it off its seat far enough just to squirt it through um, judging by the size of the holes there's a fair bit of oil flow in these engines um, so 60 psi the one so and this blows off nowhere near it so what we're going to do uh, in this little video um, we're going to uh, service that using that kit. First though is I'll show you this blowing off at 60. Uh, I'll just have to go and get um, get the pressure gauge and uh, and I'll just set that up and then I'll pressurise to 60. You'll hear it blow off because it'll go foot, 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 foot. Yeah? A very peculiar noise. So uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. So there's the gauge, right? Air is going to come in here, going to pressurise this, it'll show up on that gauge. Yes, I know the needle's broken, but it should still... What we're looking for is when we get up to the 60 psi mark up here, that it starts to blow off. Let me just move this one out of the way. And then I'll screw in the other one. <coughs> so, all fairly straightforward. It's very... Well, I don't think actually these are very well made, considering what the rest of a motor guzzy is made like. It's, I'm quite surprised at the quality. Um, not too impressed at all at the quality of this stuff. Uh, just wait for Sounds like the RAF are um, out playing. Well, it is a nice sunny day out there, so why not? Okay, so we'll put a bit of... Let me just get this so that you guys can see it. Uh, that looks about right, doesn't it? Um, what can I wedge on it? place with one of my hammers then it won't go anywhere right I've got to go to the other end of the workshop now because I'm just going to turn the air up and you'll hear this go foot 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 right let's try that again before the air force come back and we can press it goes off or whatever You see what I mean? <coughs> okay, it got up to 60, started to blow off, so and it was just below sort of the 60 ish mark. Um, <coughs> I put oil in it, 
Yeah, just to, because it's meant to have oil in it and it, it just uh, improves the seal. I mean, it would have oil in it in the engine, so, so why not? Which is why it's just spat oil everywhere. Um, if you're interested, those typhoons that have just come rattling out of Coningsby are heading up north, so it looks like the, uh, the Russians are having uh, an away day today and are uh, coming sightseeing down the North Sea again. Isn't that nice of them? Anyway, um, back, to the, back to the important stuff. So, this one's okay. It's blown off at round about 60. That one isn't. In fact, it just leaks like a sieve. doesn't blow off at all. Um, so, um, in fact, it leaks so badly, it won't even build up pressure. So, we've got to do something about that. So, I'm going to get this out of the way. And then we'll bring that in. We'll rebuild it. And we'll try it. Um, and I'll explain what I'm going to do as or how you adjust it as we go along. Back in a minute. Okay, we're back again. We've had a tidy up. New clean piece of paper. Um, the reason we're doing this, well, because these are <coughs> um, components for the oil system, you want to be uh, almost clinically clean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the old spring. That's the old piston. So I'll just pop those on there for now. And that's the main body. So we'll give it all a good, uh, a good clean out. <coughs> and then what we're going to do first, we're going to do. We try it just with the new piston and spring, and see if that will work. And then we might have to. Uh, okay, look, nice and clean down there. Trying to show you, nice and clean down there. <coughs> so, what we've got in here in this little kit is, or should be, this is the genuine stuff. One spring. <coughs> One large shim one piston and one small shim that little thing just there now the idea is when we put it together is if it blows off too early then we add this little shim under the spring at the top there. Yeah, little shim goes in there, then the spring. So it just, <clears throat> if it just like pre-tensions the spring, gives it a little bit more force on the spring and hopefully will stop the piston blowing off too soon. If the blow off, if the piston blows off too late, over 60 PSI, then we put that shim on the top of there, yeah? Which means that this is gonna stand a little bit further proud and therefore you're just going to release a bit of pressure on the spring so let's um let's give it a go see what we get uh, so i'm doing this with gloves on because i don't want engine oil all over my fingers right, so see what uh, see what state this piston's in should be a brand new one he said is it the same as the original it's well similar um, yeah, <clears throat> I'm not sure about the uh, about the standard of manufacture because it looks a bit uh, a bit rough and ready. I could possibly make something better myself, but uh, it's the original part, so. That's a better fit. Doesn't it? Certainly a better fit than the other one. I wonder what the size difference is. Let me just get me a Verney caliper. Okay, let's just set this back to millimetres because I was doing some imperial stuff the other day. Um, right, so. That is measuring 10.92. I 
and that is also 10.92 but that felt like a tighter fit so <coughs> let's try it in imperial and see if we can get a bit more of a uh, 0.43 of an inch and this is 0.431 so it's one thou how about that tape if this is one in fact that is one point f try that again that says 4.3 this is playing me about isn't it now 4.3 And there's about a thou difference, maybe two thou, thou and a half, yeah, thou and a half. But that's four point three one three one five. If I push it, four point three one. So there's one thou difference between the old one and the new one. So we should have a better seal. So what we'll do, where's my oil? Let's get the new spring as well. Um, <clears throat> I won't bother with that. So we did have a new spring here, what have we done with it? Oh, where'd I, do? Where'd, I, where'd I put the new spring, boys and girls? Right, I now feel a complete idiot because the spring, I put it in the cap, hadn't I? What a tool. Right, so we want that one and that one. So let's pop a little bit of oil in there from the oil cap. Well, let's just hope it's a good fit, eh? So, that goes on next, that goes on there, that goes on there, and that goes on there. Well, the spring certainly feels a little more, a bit more. Uh, Robust than the last one, so let's. Uh, it doesn't all want to screw together now. There we go. Just nip it up, not overly tight. But I'll just uh, pop that in the vise. <coughs> Okay, right, so, I'll pop a little bit of oil in there, this is where it gets messy, screw that into there, there the old bits, now where's my airline, connecting my airline, Can we all see that? We can. Okay, so let's see uh, how far it's going to go, shall we? Right, so as you could see that was blowing off at about 70 so that's too high so it's definitely made a difference so what we'll do is we'll screw that now then okay. it's made a mess all over the place but that's, uh, that's what it's there for I'd rather have it blowing off slightly higher than slightly lower so it's just so what we're going to do now is we're going to shim the bottom ok 
okay we're going to shim on top of there just to release some of that spring pressure might be grubby mate so here we go now I do if one isn't enough I do have another one yeah because one came in the last kit and I didn't use it um, so I could actually I might use that one because it's been out before rather than uh, Fingers aren't working, there we go. This is a poss possibility. Put that in there. That sits in there. And that goes in there. Let me screw it all together again. And this is what takes so long, really, with some of these little jobs. I mean, it's not a big job to do. It's just it's time consuming because you you know you put it in a fitting well, okay so move them out of the way so we'll uh, a bit more oil in there because that seemed to uh, seem to do the business quite well didn't it because it would normally have oil in it anyway See the uh, must be serious because that's the third, that's the fourth one that's gone up. So they're sending two lots down. <coughs> okay, so. Let's, uh, well if I didn't mention it before, we're looking at the red scale, not the, uh, not, not the greeny one. So let's uh, pop some air through it and see how far we get. pretty good to me isn't it so I think uh, bonus right so that was uh, nice and straightforward so I can uh, I can clean that up now get some of the oil off it and I can uh, give it back to my customer and it'll be a happy bunny uh, because when these two came in they showed very little oil pressure they were both leaking like sieves this one was the worst one um, and now we've got two perfectly serviceable ones so job done not a difficult job just a pain in the bum you know because you in and out in and out so there we go two just get the other one Two old motor guzzy oil pressure release valves serviced satis. Yeah, um, easy peasy, um, but like I say, you've got to keep it clean because it's oil related. You don't want crap getting in here, getting in your oil system, um, because once you've got crap in your oil system, uh, you're, 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 you're gonna ruin your engine basically. Um, so, anyway, <coughs> that goes without saying, really. So there you go two perfectly serviceable oil press release valves um, hope you like what you saw um, if you liked it gives a thumbs up yeah um, <clears throat> and uh, please uh, thank you for watching comment comment rate and subscribe and uh, I'll see you for the next one bye for now